those times where you go to take a sip from your bottle? Oh, that's not it. Or you're going to the store and you forget your mask. So then you have to go all the way back and get one just so you can go in. Or you really need to look up something on your phone, but realize you left it upstairs and then you have to go all the way up to get it and then come all the way back down. You know what that is? It's mildly infuriating. This is a subreddit I'm very familiar with. I've seen this pop up on the front page every now and then of stuff that's just, it's not enough to like completely ruin your day, but it's just mildly infuriating. It just, it gets you right up until boiling point and then you simmer down and you cool off and you pull back. Let's see what makes other people mildly infuriated. Roommate throws away dishes so he don't, he won't have to do them. I bought out our dishes and silverware. What? That is way more than mildly infuriating. That's enough to bring someone to justice. I would, I would take them to court. Who throws away dishes just so you won't have to do them? Do they have infinite money or something? I, I, I'm already really infuriated. This isn't mild at all. I get it if it's like paper ones or maybe even plastic, bad for the environment, but I can get it then. But if you actually have dishes, and colanders and tumblers and cups and all that kind of stuff. Nah, kick them out. That's an ex-roommate as far as I'm concerned. Eating in public as a celebrity. Oh my God. Oh no, that's so bad. Look, I've been recognized when I've been out eating and sometimes it is kind of annoying. Like you, it's e you either do it as I walk in and you recognize me. Oh God, this sounds so pretentious. <laughs> I'm fine with people coming up to me, but not when I'm like sitting down comfortable with my girlfriend or with friends and like we're tucking in, we're conversations flowing, we're ordering our food, we're eating. All of those times are no-nos. Just basically think of it as basic human decency, you know? I know a lot of people think, oh, it must be amazing being famous and people come up to you all the time and say hi. It's like. There are times when it's just not that great. But having this many people around you, it's a human zoo. You're not even getting anything out of this exchange. You're just looking at a person being a person. They're just people. They they wipe their arse the same way you do. Both hands first. <laughs> this is way more than mildly infuriating. This sucks. This should be people are awful. Applying online at Best Buy. We should greet all Best Buy customers. True, false. You did not select the correct response. We welcome our customers, not greet them. Oh my God. So it's a trick question that you don't greet them, you welcome them. It's the same thing. It's like saying top of the morning to you or good morning. <laughs> it's the same bloody thing. You're still welcoming people into the place. Come on, man. God. Is this a real thing? Anybody out there work at Best Buy can corroborate this, but this looks very damn real and I would believe this. This is not a daycare, I just have kids and they like to play with the neighbor kids. Kids are having fun with friends so a neighbor reported to HOA that they must be running a childcare. Oh God. If there's nothing worse, it's people poking their noses where it's not welcome. Somebody else having fun? Nuh uh uh, not on my watch. That's Twitter. That's twitter.com, that's bird app, through and through. Somebody else having fun? No, no, no. You either jump in way too much with it and act like you're part of it and you're having just as much fun as they are, or you absolutely detest it and you want to destroy it. There's no in between with people. I'm convinced. <laughs> this video is going to make me so cynical and jaded and hate people, but <laughs> I've been stuck inside in lockdown for long enough to know that people annoy me now. <sighs> also, why put up a sign? Call them. Have an adult conversation about it. I don't know. I don't think this is going to do a damn thing to this person. I was just trying to help the driver. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is mighty generous of you, but tips can't be more than 50% of your food's total? What? What if you're having a really great day and you just want to tip somebody or somebody give you an incredible service? Now, granted, I come from a culture that tipping is not, is built into your price. That's just part of the bill, so you don't actually have to tip. It, tipping over here is just weird you can still do it but most times they just tell you not to but if you really wanted to like there's sometimes when i'm out i've been at like conventions and stuff with friends and we've just had a really great time i'm in a such a good mood and i just tip i've tipped <laughs> an incredible amount sometimes for, I'm just so amazing like that, I guess. But I've definitely tipped more than 50% of your foods total. And just been like, you know what? You have great service. 
Well, have a great day. Everyone's in a good mood. Let's just keep the train rolling. To deny somebody the good Samaritan ship? <laughs> Order ten dollars in food. Try to leave a tip of five fifty. Whoa! Just take it easy, man. Okay, Mr. Moneybags, calm down, Jeff Bezos. What are you doing ordering from DoorDash? Hold on. Men's beach handball team's uniform versus the women's uniform. My God. <laughs> See, I, I don't participate in any of these sports and I never have grown up and I don't know anybody who has. But every time I see it in the Olympics, I'm always like, does this have more viewership sometimes than some other sports in the Olympics? Let's be honest. And then I wonder how much of it is actually like forced upon. Because if I were the women's team, I would just cause an uproar and I mean, I, 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 I'm not part of this. I have no horse in this race one way or the other. But couldn't you come together and like make up a big stink about it? Get a petition going online. We all know how much those petitions help. Like all those petitions on change.org that have actually made a difference. But surely something must be done about this. Let's see what the comments have to say. This is the same team that wore shorts to play and were fined because the shorts are inappropriate. Woman here. I feel that there should be multiple types of uniforms so people who'd rather cover up more can and whoever wants the breeze aren't worried about covering. Yes. Exactly. More options is always good. If you want to wear this, if it makes you feel more comfortable and you can play better, because I imagine there's a lot more flexibility in it, then go for it. More skin showing? Less sweat. <laughs> you don't heat up as much. And Lord knows, I love that. I love being easy breezy, baby. But if you want to cover up, you should be allowed. It shouldn't be all or nothing. Come on. And we're in 2021. We've gone through a pandemic. I think we can let the uniform thing slide, huh? That awkward moment when your thermostat is actually hanging on a nail and doesn't control the temperature whatsoever. Shout out to the best landlords ever. It's just a placebo thermostat, okay? The heat is just whatever you think it is. You turn it down and then you're like, oh yeah, I'm nice and cool now. You turn it way down because it's still too hot and you're like, man, something's wrong. I should see a doctor. <laughs> I feel like this is, this should be punishable under the law, right? You should be allowed to take someone to court, sue them, just bring down the absolute max of the justice system upon people like this. I get too warm. In this new place that we're in, we got AC installed and it's an absolute game changer. You don't normally get AC in places in England. So to be able to have it in my home, I feel like it, this is a cheat code. I feel like I broke the law of being able to have cool air in my room as I record. This would make me, I'm just gonna say, it would make me kill someone. <laughs> Ever wonder what at the top of Everest looks like? Man, this pisses me off. I saw another picture recently of just how much garbage is on the top of Everest. I remember growing up, conquering Everest was like the biggest thing in the world to do. If you conquered that, nothing, you were basically immortal. Nothing could ever kill you anymore because conquering Everest was the biggest thing ever. Now there's so many people going up there that there's trash problems on the top of Everest. I have a really big problem when the remotest places on Earth have a garbage problem. We already have a big garbage problem everywhere, normally. There is a thing though that you're supposed to... Oh, this I'm absolutely infuriating. This really grinds my gears. There's a thing that you're supposed to bring down eight kilos of garbage because you, you use a lot getting up there. I get that. It's a very hard thing to do. You get to the top, you have a lot of garbage with you. But there's a, a thing on Everest now that you get fined unless you bring down like eight kilos of garbage with you. But it's like a $4,000 fine. So what people do is that when they're budgeting their trips to Everest, they just budget in the $4,000 and pay the fine and leave the garbage. <sighs> Man, conquering Everest is not... It shouldn't come at that kind of a cost. Cool, you conquered Everest. You're still an asshole. Renters demand a new dryer since this one isn't working well. Oh no. Are you gonna pull out the lint drawer and it's gonna be absolutely full? Oh my god! Oh my god! That's like, it's like brand new now. That's like a blanket. Give that to your granny so she can knit you a jumper for Christmas. That's a fire hazard. I demand a new dryer. This one isn't working well. I also demand life insurance because I'm going to burn to death when this thing goes off. Make them pay more. <laughs> make them pay more rent. <laughs> That's completely unreasonable and unfair. But make them, make them pay more. I own a house now. I bought my own dryer. We take the lint out of it. Okay, I've done that many, 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 many times. This is uncalled for. Amazon started placing lockers in my city. That's how our park walkways look now. That's hideous. There's so many better places to put these things. I mean, here they have them like in stores, outside stores. Why would you put them anywhere else? Why in the middle of a park? Bring down the law on them. Come on. Bring Jeff, Jeff Bezos to court. Hit him with the
with the book! Bring the entire judicial system down on him! That's all this video is, is me trying to make sure that everybody's life is hell. <laughs> look, the older I get, normally I would look at this and go like, oh, what a big deal, come on. The older I get, the more I'm like, no, that's it. I, there are lines to be drawn. I have boundaries and they have been broken severely. Oh man, Pinterest. The worst of the worst. Every time I Google search something, <laughs> this video is exactly what it's supposed to be. Mildly infuriating. It's the most relatable video I've ever uploaded. Every time I try and Google search something, like an item, a new like, try to get like gifts for people's birthdays, and you find like a cool art book. Awesome, I looked that up, click it, it's Pinterest. Can't even look to see where it's from or anything like that because I need to sign up and make an account. And Pinterest are the ones that have done this like years ago. I've never had a Pinterest account. I hate Pinterest, but if I wanna use it, then sure. Let me have all the pins that I want and then make an algorithm for all the stuff that I like. Curate it all into a homepage for me. But if I just wanna look at an item, get lost, Pinterest. Yeah, I mainly hate it when I Google search for images and I get Pinterest result. Okay, apparently I won't view this picture. Yes, exactly, it's the worst. Pinterest needs to be brought to court. I had a group project that I had to do in college when I was in the hotel management course. And it was just about like, it, it was more of a, a project on group building and team exercises and like working together and stuff. But we had to do it on a an app, a site that was pulled out of a hat. And I had to do Pinterest and it's the most unfun that I have ever had doing a project. This was the worst. I hate Pinterest with every fiber of my being. Ew, no! You have a carpet in your bathroom? Not even England has that. And England put carpets everywhere. Some of the places that you go to, the places that you rent, the places that you buy, it's light, cheap wood in kitchens, and it's carpets in every room. Now I get it sometimes, oh, it's cold during the winter and whatever, but oh, the carpets just keep so much dirt in them. And as an asthmatic, I hate them. With every fiber of my being, bring carpets to court. That being said, I do have a carpet in this room, but it's a very, very nice one. And it's great on my feet, it's soft. And in a room like this, you need things to be dampened. But outside that door, no carpets. Why would you put them in a bathroom? Like even just getting the bath water all over it, but come on guys. Let's admit it, no matter how much we try and aim for the bowl, sometimes there's a sprinkle that happens. I've I've actually started peeing sitting down because I, my legs are tired. I wake up in the middle of the night, I have to pee, I just wanna sit down. I don't, I don't wanna stand, it wakes me up too much. So I've just been peeing sitting down at home. And like, at a urinal at a public restroom? Sure, I'll stand up. I'll I'll take the dog for a walk. I'll, I'll let those free balls fly. But it's a public toilet, it's all tiled. I don't care if there's sprinkles going everywhere. All right, but at home, in a bathroom? That carpet is covered in pee and poo. Ugh, oh, what happens when designers prioritize aesthetics over usability? I hate it. The amount of times, because I have them all next to each other just for, because it makes my phone look ugly if I don't. Well, not all of them, but some of them. And the amount of times that I've hit my calendar thinking that I'm going to Google Maps. Now, maybe I'm just a moron. <laughs> That's user error, sure. But the fact that it happens, these were so good. I know exactly what all of these are at a glance. And I get it, like the colors are nice to look at, but everything just looks the same. It blends together. I hate it. Google, you have so much money. Stop making our lives difficult, please. I like you as a company. Well, to an extent, okay, I'm not gonna take you out for dinner or anything, but this sucks, stop. The peas are upside down. <laughs> They are! Oh my god! Isn't that funny how you can tell that just by the shadows? It's like something's off. That's so bizarre. Why are they upside down? Did you just not have peas for the pictures? You just got a picture and put them on it? There's so many questions. What is going on with this picture? Also, that looks delicious. Oh, if this is chicken and mushroom, steak and kidney. Oh, baby. I want that. Oh, maybe even a curry pie. Oh! I'm hungry. <laughs> I shouldn't have recorded this. Thanks, YouTube. I'm grounded now because of your mm, ads. Screams. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really? Good Lord. Yeah, I remember seeing a video where it was somebody getting like a Brazilian wax. It wasn't censored at all. It had millions of views, but because it's like deemed educational, it can still be educational, but be censored. I mean, 
I don't really care because I'm an adult and nothing really phases me anymore. But the amount of people who use this app who don't want to see that. And the fact that I get demonetized probably just for showing or reading out some of these words. But this is allowed on the site now. Granted, this is what, 11 months ago? Maybe things have changed, maybe they've clamped down on them. But that stuff still exists. Let's be fair, let's call a spade a spade, okay? Google, come on now, get it together. I'm sick of being demonetized. I'm not swearing anymore. It's done, it's over. I'm gonna say frick and heck from now on. My partner borrowed the car for the few days and gave it back like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's better than throwing it out the window. It's better to keep it here so you can recycle it than throwing it out the window. But my God. See, I'm, I'm somewhat of a neat freak at times. I'm not really consistent with it. <laughs> this is just a nightmare for me. I think it's because I'm somewhat of a germaphobe even because I feel like growing up with asthma and having to worry about dust everywhere and what's on my hands and will it make me sick and things like that. I feel like my immune system just wasn't the best growing up so I'm just averse to all of this kind of stuff. It's all bottles too. Just take off the lid, scrunch it up and then put it in the bin. It's not that hard. Come on people. People, bring them to court. Throw the book at them! Okay, I need to stop there. I feel like out of the goodness of my health, I think I just need like a break from that. I think I can't go to it again anytime soon. But those were the top of all time. So maybe they're just the worst of the worst of the worst. Maybe I should have just gone like to top of last month or something, really just eased myself into it. I basically just dumped into fire and then pretended that I could walk on it. Oh, God, my heart. <sighs> I need to just go and do meditation for a bit. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You know what's super mildly infuriating is when people watch these videos and then click off of them before this part happens and they don't subscribe after watching because they had a laugh or they don't like the video. That really just cooks my nuggets. It's the worst. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what grinds your gears. What is something that is... This is interesting. What's something that... Doesn't really bother most people, but for you, it just really sends you over the edge. For me, it, well, it does bother a lot of people. It's people like licking their fingers after food. Can't stand it. I, I get it. You're not getting that much more off your, whatever. It's done. Bye.